let's talk about what everybody else is talking about, shall we? The fact that we have CM Punk in the press conference and everything else that's going on, because it was a wild ride last night because I was watching it myself. The thing that really amazes me is the amount of people that like to turn a blind eye to the bullshit that originally happened to start this in the first place. Now, me, as one that had a lot of individuals talking shit, that had no idea what was going on, but they'd rather run their mouth instead of telling the truth, would kind of piss me off too. And then these random individuals, if we want to get back to the CM Punk thing, allows the journalists to have a free pass and give excuses for their lack of professionalism. Because let's be honest, you guys really don't listen to exactly what's going on. You just go and give them credit, even though it's bullshit. Going out there on live TV trying to blame somebody for getting someone fired when they did not do that is bullshit. But you all, little lawyers, tribalistic fans, will take one side thinking, oh my God, he was wrong. He was doing everything. We hate CM Punk. Because you're really good at turning a blind eye to the bullshit that happened previously for that would justify CM Punk being pissed. So what did CM Punk do at a press conference? He brought the receipts. That sounds familiar. Professional wrestling, bringing receipts. And I guess that song that we've been using pretty popular on TikTok is, wow, it's good when they do it, it's bad when he does it, fuck them. Is more relevant today than any other song that I've ever heard today. I'm going off because I've been in those positions before in my community where people have ran their mouth on bullshit lies. And people will believe them without seeing the truth or going to the actual individual and see if that's actually true, what they heard around town. You know, the gossip. I don't fault CM Punk for any of this shit. I fault the journalists that were out there running their mouths without getting any type of actual true evidence of what they were reporting on being true. And the EVPs were in fault because they should have known better. They should have been out there running their mouth, pushing a bullshit story out at all. And I don't blame Tony Khan at all. Because, first of all, if he's still getting shit over and over again, and you, as fans, allow other individuals from other companies to run their mouth during interviews and change the narrative to make it look like that comp other company is lesser of an individual or lesser than, you know, of a company, don't give them a free pass. Don't be harping on Tony Khan for standing up for himself. And at the end of the day, if this is all a work, which I don't care if it is or isn't, it's good TV. Because it's got people talking no matter what. God, I love professional wrestling.